Today's marker seven first pitch will be at 103 as Finley delivers. Good fastball for a strike, and we are underway. Shanny fell. Playing close to the bag at second. Here's the 2-2 again. This one's hit on the ground to second. Seabass charging in. He will field it, throw on to first for out number one. Good job there by Marillo. One out here in the first. Where you're listening from and send a pick of your pet. Here's the 2-2. This one's a chopper on the left side. Branch on two hops, throws on to first in time to get McFadden Ackman. One and two the count here to the Georgia right-hander, Charlie Condon. Here's the pitch. This one's lashed down the left field line, fair or foul. That is a fair ball. Condon rounding first on his way to second. It's a one-out double for Charlie Condon. And the Dogs have a runner in scoring position here early. It's been hit by a pitch and struck out twice. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Chased a breaking ball for out number one. Three o'clock. Then we'll play Michigan State on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Here's the 3 2. Swing and a miss. Finley strikes him out to retire the side. A little, some limbs in the yard today and listening in. Thank you very much, Jesse. The 2 2 is lifted out into shallow right center field, and that'll drop for a base hit just beyond the reach of the second baseman Simpson. But the lefty-lefty matchup. The 2-0 coming up. Here's the pitch to Chadwick. This one's hit out into right center field. That's a base hit. Branch rounding second on his way to third. Chadwick will hold at first. And the Dogs have runners at the corners here with one out. Runners at the corners, here's the pitch. This one's hit out into right center field. That'll get to the wall. That'll be extra bases for Murillo. Coming in to score is Branch. Rounding third is Chadwick. He scores ahead of the throw, and the Dogs tie it at two on the two-run double by number two, Sebastian Murillo. Bottom of the second on a Sebastian Murillo. Two-run double. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. This one is lifted out to right. Chadwick, a few steps over to his right. He will make the catch for out number one. So a big payoff pitch due right here. There goes the runner on the 3-2. This one's hit on the ground to third, backhanded by Offord. Log throw across in time, and a great scoop by Trey Phelps. Great D there by the Bulldogs but had to throw a lot of pitches in his three innings. And the Norse did a good job battling him, especially with the two two-run homers. The 0-2 is in there for a strike. Good pitch there by Roberge. The 1-2 pitch. This one is popped out into shallow right center. Coming on and making the catch is Chadwick to retire the side. Here's the pitch. This one's bunted over on the first base side. Roberge picks it up, flips on to first to get him. That was close. Devonport singled and scored in the second, struck out in the fourth. And another big moment in this game, swing and a miss there. Roberge takes care of Davenport on three pitches. Four. Now the 2-1 to Seabass. This one's hit down the right field line. That is going to drop for a base hit. Let's see if Murillo can get two out of it. Here's the throw. Cut off. He's safe. Seabass with his second double of the afternoon. Always great getting to talk to the guys, and he had the game-winning homer. And the 0-1 is hit out to deep right field. Going back is Devin Porter, and that one is out of here. A two-run homer for Dylan Carter, and that cuts the Northern Kentucky lead to five to four. DC is now homered in two of his last three at bats. And Carter now leads the Bulldogs with four home runs on the year. Slade Offord standing in 
That's now two doubles and a homer for the eight and nine hitters. And Offer hits this one deep out to right center. It's off the top of the wall. Throw coming to second. He is saved. That one needed one more inch to get out of here. We just about had back-to-back -back homers. Five to four Norse here in the fifth. Here's the pitch. Condon lashes this one. Fair down the left field line. Coming in to score is offered. Condon on his way to second. Ball getting away from the left fielder. Condon to third. Safe. Georgia has tied it on the triple by Condon. And the dogs have gone double, homer, double, triple here in the fifth. 368 on the year. Now the 0-1, breaking ball. This one's hit out to deep left center field. Shanty felt going back. This one is out of here. A two-run homer for Logan Jordan. And Georgia leads for the first time today. It's now 7-5. to five. What a performance here by the dogs in the fifth. Ohio and Ohio State. And if Johnson's name sounds familiar, there's a reason. As Trey Phelps hits the first pitch out to left center field, and this one is out of here. Trey Phelps. The freshman first baseman from Kennesaw gets his first career homer, and Georgia leads it eight to five. Branch. Here's the pitch. This one's hit out to deep left center field. Going back is Kilpatrick, and it's out of here. Another home run for the Bulldogs. Georgia has hit four home runs here in the inning, and the Dogs have now gone back to back to back. Now the pitch. Swung on and missed. With a one run lead. It's nine to eight. Now the pitch. Breaking ball. Swung on and missed. Rowe is down on strikes. And that'll do it for the Norse here in the sixth. 333, three homers, 10 RBIs on the year. Here's the 2 1. This one's hit on the left side and through for a base hit. Team. Three homers on the year, seven runs driven in. And then this one's hit back up the middle and through. That's a base hit for Condon. Offered on his way to third, safe. Great base running there by Slate to get to third. Crazy one here. Jordan standing in, base is loaded, hits this one to short. He'll go to second for one. The relay is in time. Good stretch there by McFadden Ackman. The run does score. All right, a payoff pitch coming up here to Colby Branch. Here it is. This one's a little number chopper past the pitcher on the first base side, and Branch beats it out. The second baseman, Simpson, charging in. Branch beats it. Coming in to score is Condon from third. The Dogs extend the lead to 11-8, and Branch gets another RBI on the infield single. And J.D. Seabass getting the start today at second. He's had a big day. Here's the 1-1. This one's a chopper. Back to McLaughlin, he'll throw on to first. Phelps there, and that is not a sacrifice, but essentially the same thing as Devonport moves to third. So one to three on the putout, and that'll bring up the catcher, Bryce Miller. He is one for three, he singled his last time. First action of the weekend, and Georgia will throw over and picks him off. How about that? Miller picked off at first. How about McLaughlin to Phelps in a gigantic second out? Coming up here to Kilpatrick, the pitch. This one's lifted out to center. Coming on is Carter. He will make the catch to retire the side. Sixth, hitting 355. And this one is a chopper on the left side to the shortstop row. Throws across wide. Offered is safe. That one went in the dugout, so they'll put him at second. So that'll be an E6 to get him to second.
He was so good yesterday. Might just be trying to shake him up. Yeah. Here's the one, two. This one's a chopper over on the right side. Marillo has it. Throws on to Phelps at first. He and Branch almost collided there. Meek. The dogs would like to turn it over to Marsh. Fastball right down the middle. Cold strike three to retire the side. The 1-1. One, one. This one is hit on one hop to the shortstop row. He's got it. Throws across to first. Not in time as the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Standing in. So Altman squares to butt, and it's caught by Phelps in foul territory. Big time play. Here's the pitch. Cold strike three. Beautiful breaking ball. Zeldin retires Shanny Phelps to retire the side. Great job by Zeldin, and if Georgia wins this game here at the bottom of the ninth, the play of the game, the sequence there, getting the pop out on the punt. Great play by Phelps. Absolutely. The 1-1 one, one. is a change. Here's the pitch to Condon. This one's lashed out into left field. A base hit for Condon. And that is his fourth hit of the afternoon. Can the dogs get another win in the bottom of the ninth? Condon the runner at first. Here's the 3-1. That one misses low. Ball four. Tate's walks for the second time. And the dogs have the winning run at second. Condon at third, he represents the winning run. Takes it second, Gonzo at first. A 3-2 pitch coming up here to Phelps. Here it is. That one hit him. He gets hit for the third straight at bat. Condon comes in to score, and Georgia wins it 12-11. What a game, what a win. Back-to-back -back victories in the bottom of the ninth. And for Georgia, through the first five games of the year, winning all five of those by at least nine runs, two comeback wins, and it's a perfect 7-0 on the season.